Now, founder of the St. Immaculate Widows Association, Reverend Sister Gabriela Nona, has appealed to major stakeholders in the land sector, especially traditional rulers in the Upper West region, to make available to them not only farmlands, but lands that are fertile. The Reverend Sister said oftentimes widows face difficulty in accessing farmlands, and when they do, they are only given lands that are infertile. This usually ends with low yields. She made the plea at a ceremony where some food items, used clothing and mattresses, valued at over thousands of Ghana cities, were donated to the association at Dafyama in the Upper West region. Our Upper West correspondent Rafiq Salam reports. Founder of the St. Immaculate Widows Association, Reverend Sister Gabriela Nunang, paints a mental picture of the squalid and inhumane treatment women go through in the female enclave after the loss of their husbands. You know nowadays, when a man dies, they usually they don't care for the widow. They say that they cannot get care for their own children. How can they be able to care for somebody's children? As a result of that, 26 years ago, she founded a situation at the firma to at least help the widows to live a dignified life who they now join in droves. The membership of the St. Immaculate Widows Association is now pegged at 888. A tax too huge for only one person to bear. That huge burden could easily have been lessened according to Reverend Sister Gabriela Nonan if the widows have access to not only farmlands but lands that are fatal. These people have to suffer to get a land. They, they always took the land that which is fertile and give them places which is not fertile. They, they make only bamboo beans, some a, a grass, small granite, some a rice. The rice also cannot do if the rice is not growing very well. And this little food, they also try to feed their children. They are not lazy. I let them train. Each one to train some kill. Don't sit down, put your hand under the laps and sit down like that, waiting that we have to do something before we eat. While they praise and wait with bated breath for the status quo to change, private legal practitioner, lawyer to the story, and mommy and me, donated bags of rice, sugar, cartons of cooking oil, mattresses, and used clothes to enable them to celebrate the Easter. The donation according to lawyer Tedio Sori, is the third in as many years. We pray and hope that we are able to develop this thing into something more sustainable that makes the widows um, grow a little bit independent and are able to do something more for themselves and, 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 and for the communities that they, 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 they belong to. Um, during this period of Lent, we are encouraged to be charitable and, 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 and we are happy that a charitable institution supports this program every year during this period of Lent. A representative of Mommy and Me, Joe Ampendako, expressed joy for the collaboration between his outfit and that of Lord Tedio Sori, who has brought smiles to the faces of the widows. Before I end, glad that um, this presentation is not made to only Catholic women here, which is very important that um, as even the Catholic Church stands, all the women here come from all facets of society. And we are most grateful that, Rever uh, Reverend Sister, we are grateful that you have been able